Uh, yeah, so Sam Phillips and uh, my brother Will. Uh, we're from Sorrento, so not too far from Geelong. You guys are nearly locals. Do you think that gives you a little bit of an advantage going into this regatta? Um, it's certainly nice to be able to do a regatta near home, but uh, we don't actually sail in Geelong uh, a heap, so we're still learning the venue like everyone else. So tell me a little bit about your day. You guys jumped right up the leaderboard today. What did you get right? Well, we were just trying to keep it pretty simple. I think yesterday there was a lot of uh, seaweed on the course and we probably got caught up in that a little bit. And so it wasn't as, as bad today. And I think the wind was a little bit more stable and a little bit more predictable for us. And we were just able to, to um, figure out what was happening and to tack in the right spots. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a good day. Can you tell me a little bit about Australian selection? What's going on with you guys? What's left? What have you got to do to prove yourselves? Um, yeah, so there's a few events which are important for us. Um, obviously the Worlds in New Zealand um, was one of the events and then this event here is, um, is an important event as well. So um, it's quite a, I mean top six is the, um, our criteria. So if we're top six then you, you get to go. Uh, if two boats are top six, then it's, it becomes discretionary. Uh, if uh, no one's top six, it's also discretionary. So it's quite an open policy. You guys have a lot of teams here, and ranging from super young and new to a few old guys coming back into the class. And then you guys have been around a lot too. Are you all collaborating? What's the feeling like in the Australian camp? It's really friendly at the moment, and it's really nice to see everyone kind of getting on and, and helping each other and particularly with you know I know Dave O'Connor and, and Fang are back in the boat for this event and they have been for the end of, end of last year as well it's just really nice to, to have a few different perspectives to to bounce off and and, um, and and also on the water as well with with all the boats and do you like having two worlds back to back does that add pressure is that and is that enjoyable what how do you feel about that uh, well, it's really just the nature of the way it's worked out prior to the, the Olympic year, really. Um, so I think the idea was to get one in early on and then get it out of the way. I think it's, you know, for us it's convenient because they're both down here in the Southern Hemisphere, which has been unbelievable because it's just a lot cheaper than travelling to Europe. And so from that perspective, it's, it's a huge advantage. All right, and what are you going to get out and do tomorrow? Anything to work on or just business as usual? Yeah, I think pretty much business as usual. It's, um, it's obviously gold fleet racing tomorrow, so, um, you know, it's quite different. Higher intensity, um, there's more good guys, more people going fast. Um, but, you know, we've done plenty of gold fleet racing, so it's just, just the same. Best of luck tomorrow, guys. Good luck. Do good. <laughs>